Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda and welcome to JStories, where we showcase solutions from Japan for some of the world's existing problems. People often say, you are what you eat. But are we really paying attention to what we are eating, especially when we are growing up? That's the question some school teachers are asking in southern Japan. They found that the best way to teach children about a healthy diet is by making them cook their own meals. At one nursery school in Kagoshima City, children as young as two can skillfully cut fish and vegetables using kitchen knives. Well, with a little help from their teachers to make various dishes as part of their food and nutrition education. The nursery school's principal says this is a step towards a society that can, quote, regain connection between life and food, unquote. The nursery school even opened a temporary restaurant with the children working as chefs. By selling meals and other food items, the little chefs earned more than 100,000 yen, or about 1,000 US dollars. School officials say the kids used the money to go on a school excursion. Next, a new business model under the water. Sea urchins, which are called uni in Japanese, are a delicacy for sushi lovers. But when there are too many of them, they can be a problem. Sea urchins feed on kelp, so when they are overpopulated, they destroy kelp forests. That's what's happening in California, for example, where researchers say more than 90% of the coastal kelp had disappeared in less than a decade. And when sea urchins overgraze kelp beds, the spiny creatures eat themselves, making themselves so-called empty urchins that are just unmarketable as uni. But one Japanese startup is working out a solution. Urchinomics harvests empty sea urchins from areas where kelp beds have been overeaten and feeds them in a land-based facility until they grow to marketable size. The company operates commercially in Japan and their teams are also located in California, Canada and Norway. Last month, Urchinomics was endorsed by the United Nations as an ocean decade action for its contribution to restoring marine ecosystems and supporting sustainable fisheries. So many things are going digital nowadays and currencies are no exception. Governments and central banks around the world are launching official state-backed digital currencies. But developing the necessary technologies may be a big challenge for some developing countries. A few Japanese fintech companies are providing solutions. One of them, Tokyo-based GVE, offers a platform to digitize central bank currencies, turning them into central bank digital currencies or CBDGs. The company has yet to disclose which country or countries it's working with. But the Tokyo-based startup recently joined the ranks of unicorns in Japan with an estimated valuation of about $2 billion. That's all for this week from J Stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.